Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a very exciting video. Haven't done one of these in a very long time, but as you can tell from the title, I'm going away on holiday very soon. So I thought I'd pick you guys up today because I'm kind of like doing the last minute prep bits. I have had my nails done, all the usual things. I've had my fingers done in these really cute like colorful tips. If that will focus, hello, there we go cute right i think i might have to get them done when i'm out in ibiza though because they're kind of grown out already but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it i've had my toes done i just got them in french but i'm not sure i want to show my toes on the internet because there's a little bit of a weird thing about that isn't there but today i am literally just getting ready to go and do some last minute shopping but before i do that i obviously need to go and get my pcr test at my local airport so i thought i'd bring you guys along with me in case you're going away soon and I don't know, you might be interested in finding out like what it kind of entails. I will take you guys, try and show you what happened. I'm gonna ask if I can film. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go shopping. I'm going, gonna go into the city. Well, gonna come and meet me. And there's just like a few bits that I wanna get. Like I still need a couple of dresses, some evening outfits. I'm actually going on two holidays. So I feel like I'm just lacking a couple of things that I need. So that's what we're doing. Like I say, I am in a rush. I need to leave the house in literally three minutes. So I'm gonna just quickly finish off doing my hair and then I'll probably catch you guys in the car or whilst I'm having my test. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I have just had my PCR test. It was fine, but I think I've, I tried to film it. So I'll try and insert some clips after I've just kind of told you about it, but it was absolutely fine. Like it's over in seconds, but oh my God, there was like nothing more uncomfortable than someone sticking a swab like up into your brain but yeah in case you are in the Norwich area and you need to get I think any kind of test they do quite a few like different ones honestly today is not gonna be my day I'm not gonna lie it wasn't it wasn't like the worst thing in the world like I'd rather I'd rather have that 10 times over than get my second jab like I hate vaccines so that was like nothing compared it's very uncomfortable but that's literally it like it doesn't hurt the guy was super lovely the woman in there was super lovely like everyone on the desk and stuff they make you feel really comfortable so if you do need a pcr test i think they do lateral flow tests and like test and release and stuff they do all of those at norwich airport so if you are in this area then i highly recommend it's through a company called gpdq i think let me double check yeah gpdq so that's all finished i get my results in the morning and i fly tomorrow at half three in the afternoon um i do need to still pack it's currently sunday i fly on monday and yeah my suitcase is still literally empty but i've kind of got like an organized mess thing going on like i've got all my clothes laid out so i'm getting somewhere i am actually about to meet up with brad and then head into the city to do some kind of last minute shopping because there is still a few like clothing items that I want to get. I did a couple orders and the stuff just hasn't arrived in time, which is fine, it's my fault. So I'm just gonna go and pick up a few things, some toiletries and stuff, and yeah, then go home and literally just pack. But that is kind of what today's video is gonna be. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for the holiday vlogs. Otherwise, I am, like I say, gonna meet up with Brad now and go to the shops, head home, I think we're going to get some lunch in town as well actually and then head home and start packing. I've got a few bits I want to show you guys. Maybe I'll do a little haul of what I pick up in town. So yeah, rambly intro over as always and I will speak to you guys a bit later. Right, little bit of a jump, I won't lie. I'm now back home. We went for some lunch. We actually met up with Brad's parents to have a wag us, which was really nice. Um, I did a little bit of shopping. I did a little bit of damage. I basically, I think I said earlier, I've ordered a load of stuff and it's just not gonna arrive in time. So I've kind of like picked up a few of the things I ordered just in store. Also stopped by McDonald's to get myself a Fanta because there's actually no better Fanta than the McDonald's Fanta. I don't know why, but it's literally my favorite. So I've got this. So I'm gonna quickly run you guys through what I picked up in the city just now. I've also got an ATOS delivery that's just arrived. And then we need to actually pack and put some things in my suitcase. So we will get around to that. <laughs> Might as well stick with some kind of beauty bits for now. So I literally just got some shampoo and a conditioner. And I actually picked up these. Just like little containers that you can decant all of your products into. Because I don't want to take too much with me. But I really struggled to find like a decent enough sized like shampoo bottle. Because I was going to get a miniature one. But I am away for pretty much two weeks. These little pouches at the back here might be 
a little bit better and then I was going to put like my toner in this little spray bottle my moisturizer and my face wash in these and then some other moisturizers in the little pots down there and I think that will be enough so I need to fill those up then I got some cotton pads after sun which is the one by Hawaiian Tropics I love their sun creams as well um, but I just stuck with the after sun at this time round then I personally love to have like in my beach bag I always have a little body spray this is just the so fragrance one in Mykonos nights it's not my favorite but it's literally just to chuck in my beach bag and then also to go with that I get a little roll on deodorant again just getting in and out of the pool I like to feel a little bit fresher so I got the cucumber scent of that and this I wrote about in all of these like pack with me videos this is the charles worthington take takeaways sunshine protect this like protects your hair from the sun and the uv rays and stuff and it basically just smells insane which is why i pick it up but i grabbed another one of those some bug spray or roll on bug spray also a little heat protectant tresemme kind of travel size and some ibuprofen and and parasite small again must haves i think that is pretty much it in terms of oh i also got some eyelashes just some little like kind of end ones because i kind of love how it looks when you just put them on the ends and this was quite a good pack i think it was 15 pounds but you can reuse every pair and there's three pairs in there so i thought that was quite a good deal i think i touched on this before in a video but staying away from home and like being away from my comfort zone is like a big thing for me i wish it wasn't but it is and it's something i've struggled with since i was about 10. so yeah as much as like obviously i'm so excited i'm so grateful to be going away and everything it can be tough for me sometimes i'm sure i'll be absolutely fine because i did this last year and i've proven to myself that i can do it and i can go away and enjoy myself and not worry um but sometimes that creeps in you know and i feel like we're all we all understand that we all get that we all experience it at some point whether it's about going away or something completely different but yeah in case that happens i've got my little rescue remedies i've never actually seen these ones before you just kind of put them on your tongue and they melt so clothing so i've got a couple of things in hollister which i'm kind of loving at the moment especially for holiday bits because we went into like where did we go well zara didn't really have too much because obviously their sales on so it's just manic unpopular opinion but i really don't like shopping in zara sales because i just think it's it's just crazy i'd rather like wait until they bring out new stuff but yeah i feel like most of the other shops that we went into they had like winter stuff out and i know the weather's not great but we are still in july so i was struggling to find things but hollister always have really cute little dresses and little tops and stuff so first of all i picked up this really cute little top it's just like a little crop um but it has kind of like god <laughs> it has kind of like a pack from detail to it and like a cinched waist here so i thought that'd be really cute even with just like denim shorts super easy to throw on um but kind of an essential and then i did grab oh i got three bikinis well, i didn't realize i got three but that's fine one of which i had ordered but like i say it's not arriving in time so i thought i'd just buy it in the shop um but their bikinis as well are such nice shapes so these are the bottoms that i got of one and as you can see they are just so like high-waisted you guys know i love pulling the sides of my bikinis like up my hips i just way prefer it i think i got a bikini last year and i did get it in a large so i'm sure these would be fine and then the top i did actually get in a medium just because the large looked quite big so i just went for a medium in the top it's like a little bandeau um and then ties up at the back Ooh, that was really cute i kind of love the color and then i got the exact same bikini in white <laughs> i just really love the bottom of these and then the top i think i got the same as well yeah so it's just like a little bandeau across like that and it's also like a ribbed material if you can see I don't know if i actually didn't drop it but then the last bikini that i got which i was most excited to arrive so i'm glad i found this in store and could buy it this is such a nice shape it's basically it's kind of like another bandeau but it ties up around your neck here and it's one of those bikinis that kind of goes downwards if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but it does create like a really gorgeous cut out on your stomach area and i find these to be really flattering and then the bottoms are a little bit more full actually but again they are kind of the same cut with them being a little bit more up the hips like this so yeah very cute and then i picked up some pajamas this is actually the last thing that i got because the other thing in there is 
t-shirt for brass. Um, I grabbed some pyjamas because I literally don't own any. I don't sleep in pyjamas. I don't ever use them. And then every time I go around George's, I always forget. And I'm like, can I have a t-shirt? So for her sake, I bought myself some pyjamas because obviously we're sharing a room. But also these were just really cute. Again, the floral kind of ditzy print. How sweet are these? And then they just tie up around your waist. I got these in a medium because they look quite kind of like oversized and big so I went for a medium in the bottoms and then they only had a small in the top so they had about three of them but they were all smalls so I went for it anyway because I kind of thought it would just make it a little bit more cropped and yeah that is everything I got from Hollister and then Zara like I say it was so unsuccessful for me Brad did actually find a few things to be fair for our holiday that we are going on after this one but I just found this dress which is kind of it's quite basic and I'm not really sure whether to keep it as like a beach dress or to dress this up I don't know it's kind of like a shift all one shape sort of like easy to wear hanging dress um so yeah I'm not sure I think I can probably dress it up and I think I will with like some wedges nice hair nice makeup really cute bag I don't know I'll probably use it for both but I did actually get this in a small just because I wanted it to be a little bit shorter like these straps here are so long I feel like it's going to hang really low so I think I'm probably going to put like a little tie in these or something and then also it will shorten the length because it does look like quite a long dress so I'm yet to try that on but that was literally the only thing that I found yeah that is my little haul I guess I feel like this clip is really long but I think what I'm going to do now is start packing my toiletries especially because I've now got everything so I'm going to decan my shampoo and conditioner and stuff into here and get on with actually packing I need to speak to George as well because I need to sort out like who's taking the straighteners, who's taking the curling iron because there's no point in us both taking like the same things. So yeah, I need to call her at some point. Oh, also I bought this the other day because George has it and I absolutely love it. I use it every time I go to her house and I love it because it's got such a long barrel. So with my long hair, it's so much easier to use. So this is the Beauty Works X Molly May curler. I think I got the whole curling kit. But anyway, I'll probably stick you guys on a few time lapses. Hopefully they're kind of satisfying and you can watch me pack my stuff away i kind of love these parts of other people's videos i'm not gonna lie so i'll put a few of these in and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later So I've just filled up all of these little things. They actually fit a lot in them, so I would highly recommend. I literally just got them in boots, but let me try and find the, the packaging. The name is Kitsch, I think. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. But yeah, just Google it, and I'm sure they have like a whole company. They weren't that expensive at all, but I thought they were a little bit cuter than like just the plain clear ones. So in this one, I have just put some hair oil. In here, I've got my Pixi Glow Tonic. So I put it in the spray bottle because I thought it would be easier to just kind of spray directly on my face. Or of course, I have got these little cotton pads that I can put it onto. And then in here, we've got my face wash. Oh my God, I've just realized I don't know which one's shampoo and which one's conditioner. <laughs> Damn it. I was meant to write on the back here what's in what. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but one of those is conditioner and one is shampoo. And then in here I've just put my after sun, because again, I don't need to take the whole bottle. And then in this one, I've just put some of the Clinique moisturizer. I've also got a little pot left over, so I'm gonna put my Elemis moisturizer in this, because um, I'm gonna use this one more for the day and like under makeup. And then I'm gonna use my Elemis one for the evening so that is where we're at i'm going to pop all this in my toiletry bag and get all the rest of my stuff and pop it in there as well
I'm now up in the bedroom where I've got all of my clothes laid out on this chest of drawers. Also, I've got the fan on because it's so hot up here. So apologies for any background noise. But I thought I'd really quickly run you through <laughs> this really organized mess let's call it um i've got my toiletry bag here which you guys obviously saw me start packing i've just put my toothbrush and stuff in and then we've got the little travel things that i showed you guys and then i got a new pair of sunglasses i got these ones from key i've been meaning to get some for ages and i just got those on asos and then i'm gonna obviously put this in here just to do my makeup and stuff and do my skincare i'm gonna be taking my extra razor i think i'm actually gonna be working with them while i'm out there but of course i'll be taking this anyway um so i've just got that to remind me I am going to take this blazer, which I absolutely love. This is from Motel, no, Mistress Rocks. Um, yeah, Mistress Rocks. I got this in a small. You do not need to size up in this. I'm going to link this down below just because I absolutely love it. Um, I get so much wear out of it and it is quite thick. So I am wondering how much I'm going to wear it. But there are loads of outfits that I want to kind of pair it with. So maybe for dinners inside when it's a little bit cooler. I don't know, because I know it's like 30 degrees in Ibiza right now. So I'm going to take it anyway, but... Yeah, we all need this white blazer in our life. Honestly, it's incredible. And then this is my kind of like dresses pile. Again, I know it looks kind of excessive, but obviously I'm then going on to Mallorca, so I wanted loads of different options. So I'm going to really quickly run through like all of these um, so you kind of get an idea of where they're from. So this top one is from Zara. Then we have a cute little back dress from Free People. This little floral one is from Shein. This is from Pretty Lavish, I think. It's like a ruffled midi dress, which is actually really cute. Not something i'd usually go for but i actually kind of love it and then this lime green one is from bershka i've got another little bershka well it's actually a two-piece under there um it's like a crocheted one i also have this two-piece god this is not going well is it <laughs> this two-piece which is like a bandeau tie up top and a little short set this is from pretty lavish as well i think um i just thought that'd be cute i thought this would be really cute with the white blazer so that's what I'm kind of thinking, but otherwise on its own it will still look great as well. Okay, so then this kind of stretchy dress is from Opoly. It's like a midi one with little cutouts. And then that bottom one is from Zara as well. It's just like a really easy throw on shift dress. So that is my kind of dresses option with a random cord thrown in there. Because I then do have my cord sets over here, but I guess these are a little bit more casual. So this one is from Pretty Little Thing. It's like a shirt and a little... Tra uh, not trousers a little short set if you've seen my hauls you would have seen this and then this is from zara i think um it's really cute it's so easy to wear as well and then i've got a little one from boohoo under here which is like a mesh kind of skirt with a little peplum hem and then a little tie up crop top as well and then some kind of beach trousers so i've got a white pair and a black pair just to go with my bikinis i love these for heading for lunch or something just working a shirt on with them they're literally perfect so i've got one in each color these are like my little tops that i'm going to take so i've got this one which is from bershka it doesn't really fit me that well so i don't know how much wear i'm going to get out of it but it is really cute i think i just didn't tie it right when i tried it on but i'm loving these kind of hold to neck moments um so i'm going to take that with me then i've just got some like really basic zara bodysuits and little zara tops um it's another hold to neck bodysuit from zara this is from zara as well i love this color and again, it's like a little halter neck, so I'm going to take that. I thought it would be nice with like some white wide leg trousers. And then I've got this bodysuit, which I've had for ages. This is from Opoly. I get so much wear out of it. It has got a tiny little stain here, which I just can't get out. But yeah, I wear this literally all the time. Even with black trousers, it looks lovely. So I'm going to take that. And then I've got this little top that, again, I wear all the time. This is from House of CB. This was a little bit more of an investment, but honestly, I've I've worn it so, so much. And then I've got my All Neutrals bodysuit. This is like a one-shoulder um, little body from Aisha and Zellia's brand. And then just a random little yellow bralette, which I thought would be cute if I wanted to put it like shorts in the day or something. I'm thinking if we go shopping, um, it's just much more of a casual piece. And then I've got this, which is the same as the white halter neck, but it's in this like really gorgeous bright orange and then shorts we've got some it's franz <laughs> urban outfitters shorts here um super casual i even thought of like traveling in these um just really comfy and then these ones are from zara these ones are from angel collection led's brand god all these people with brands honestly i love love that and then over here <laughs> this is a little bit more messy i won't lie this is all my bikinis that i'm gonna take this one is from hollister this kind of a crinkled effect one this little sagey one is urban outfitters it's like a bandeau kind of bikini and the bottoms of this are actually really really lovely they have like a little 
V in the front here. I find that to be so flattering. This one I just got from ASOS. I love it, but it is one size, um, which annoys me anyway, but the bottoms are a little bit of a weird fit. So I'm gonna try that on properly and hopefully we can make it work. <laughs> this one is um, accessorized, I think. I got this ages ago. So I'm not sure if they still sell it, but I do actually really love that bikini. It's like a good staple black one. This is Lounge Swim. Love that one. I've also got another one from Lounge Swim that I'm going to take. This is from Shein. Love the colours of this. Again, it's like a bandeau kind of style that just ties in the front there. And then this one is gorgeous. This is from House of CB. A little bit of an investment, but honestly, I am so obsessed with this. So that is my swimwear for now. These are my kind of pool cover-ups, more really casual dresses, just things to kind of throw on at the beach or around the pool, like I say. So this one is from Boohoo. This little white one is ASOS. This is Bershka. I love the colours of that as well. This one is Boohoo. I cannot wait to get a pick in this. I think it's going to be so cute. This is also from Boohoo, I think, quite a while ago, but it's like a real kind of mesh fabric, um, completely see-through, but obviously over a bikini it will look really cute. And then I've got some shirts. So I've got my Angel Collection shirt. I live in this. It is such a staple in my summer wardrobe. I wear it all the time. Um, even dressing it up to go out in is literally perfect. And then this one is from Boohoo and I got that to pair with my bikinis. So that is it for now. I think I'm going to start putting this in my case. I've got a load of washing to go through as well behind me. And then, yeah, we'll see where I'm at. So I'll do some time lapses and you guys can watch me back. Respect how you feel, but baby, I 